The recent media focus on sexual harassment has left a lot of people wondering what's acceptable to say or do in the workplace. Let's look at some guidelines for communicating respectfully with coworkers and customers. Let's start with the big one. As a general rule, it's not okay to make comments about someone's body or physical appearance, such as skin, hair, body parts, body shape, or how someone walks or talks. This goes for clothing, too. Before you comment on clothing, consider the context and the nature of your relationship with the person. If you still think it's okay to say something, focus on the clothing, not the person's body in the clothing. This makes a big difference. For example, it's okay to say, cool sweater, but it's not okay to say, I like the way your chest looks in that sweater, or I bet you'll get the vacation days you wanted if the boss sees you in that sweater. Next, let's talk about hugs. Don't assume everyone is okay with a hug. In fact, outside of a handshake, it's best to avoid physical contact with coworkers and customers. Stick with a smile, a warm greeting, or a handshake. They'll have the same effect, and you won't risk making someone uncomfortable. Another consideration is gender. Gender should have no bearing on a compliment you give to a coworker or a customer. Before giving a compliment or making a comment, ask yourself, would I say this if this person were a different gender? If the answer is no, chances are you should not say it. Does this mean we can't give compliments or show people how much we like and appreciate them? Of course not. Here's the key. Focus compliments and comments on people's achievements, intelligence, or skills. For example, to compliment a coworker after a presentation, instead of saying, great job, you looked great in that suit, say, great job, your presentation was so insightful. And remember, if you are at all unsure about how your words will be taken by someone, it's probably best to not say them.